News just in Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid homage to 1200 Indian soldiers at the Indian Peacekeeping Force Memorial in Colombo. These are men who were killed in Sri Lanka in their fight against the LTTE. After addressing the Sri Lankan Parliament uh, this morning, Prime Minister Narendra Modi paying a visit at the IPKF uh, Memorial. Of course, uh, he had uh, announced his decision to pay a visit uh, to this memorial and pay tribute to the 1200 Indian soldiers who had been killed uh, in Sri Lanka while fighting the LTTE had uh, drawn uh, uh, drawn uh, various different responses uh, from political parties here in India. Of course, there were certain groups that were also uh, not particularly uh, in favour of uh, Prime Minister Modi visiting the memorial. Of course, the Prime Minister Modi going ahead and visiting uh, this uh, memorial that uh, pays tribute to the Indian soldiers who laid down their lives while fighting the LTTE in Sri Lanka. Let's get a word uh, from our correspondent Mosmi Singh, who's uh, with us uh, on the phone line. Mosmi, Prime Minister Modi, even before leaving for his trip, had uh, declared or his schedule had been declared to the press, and this is something that was one of the big agendas uh, in his uh, Sri Lanka calendar. That's right, Simi, uh, paying homage to uh, the Indian peacekeeping force soldiers who laid their life in the line of duty during the civil war in Sri Lanka. It is uh, indeed, uh, it was indeed a short visit, but of uh, a lot more significance uh, as he came down to lay wreath uh, on, the, on the war memorial and uh, other dignitaries watched him. Uh, clearly uh, a very symbolic, an emotional moment, a moment of solidarity uh, that the Prime Minister uh, expressed here. Absolutely. And uh, Mosmi, what's the response that's coming in uh, from uh, people there in Sri Lanka after Prime Minister Modi addressed uh, the Lankan Parliament this morning? Simi, see, this visit has been very symbolic indeed. A lot of uh, symbolism, a lot of meaning to be read out of that symbolism because uh, this was the first time ever that a uh, uh, Prime Minister addressed uh, the Sri Lankan Parliament. Uh, the president said that it was a matter of great honor and uh, uh, the Indian Prime Minister deserved that honor. So uh, very symbolic there. And then coming to the war memorial and thereafter he would be also visiting the politically sensitive Tamil dominated Jaffna region. It is the first time ever that an Indian Prime Minister would be visiting there. Uh, so uh, this meeting, although uh, just, just a two day meeting, in, is indeed uh, a big big yes uh, for India. It is a move to uh, consolidate its position in the Indian Ocean as well as uh, build economic cooperation, development cooperation and also an emotional uh, connect with the Sri Lankan people, the closest southern neighbour here. Uh, I, we, must, we must look at, uh, look at this uh, entire tour in the background that uh, when, uh, when uh, the previous president was there, uh, uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa, uh, he was uh, considered close uh, and pro-China. So there were huge investments that were flowing in from China, uh, from infrastructure to healthcare to ports, uh, all, all aspects. Uh, we, we've been seeing Chinese um, cinema halls and ports and, uh, and roads. So China has indeed caught up really fast here in the past few years while India was keeping away from Sri Lanka. And uh, this visit, uh, we have spoken to a lot of citizens and they have said that this, uh, this is a, a new journey that India and Sri Lanka will be taking. They look at it 
as as a, a closer tie between the old partner India and um, and and the way that the president, uh, the Sri Lankan president, uh, praised uh, Narendra Modi. He spoke about India and uh, about the various aspects and how close India was is a clear indication that uh, though uh, just a half a day has passed in this entire trip, but indeed a lot of bridges have been built. All right, Mosby, thanks so much uh, for that uh, update. Those pictures coming in from Colombo, Prime Minister Narendra Modi paying a visit to the IPKF Memorial in the capital of Sri Lanka. Now, India has signed four crucial agreements with uh, Sri Lanka during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, visit to Colombo. It's the first trip by an Indian Prime Minister in the last 28 years. In fact, the deal includes uh, an agreement on visa, customs, youth development and building a Rabindranath Tagore memorial at a Sri Lankan university. Prime Minister Modi met Sri Lankan President uh, Maitri Pala Sri Sene and discussed bilateral and uh, other issues of regional importance. At the joint press conference, Prime Minister Modi assured cooperation in uh, developing a Ramayana trail in Sri Lanka and a Buddhist circuit in India. He also promised that uh, Air India will soon start direct flights from New Delhi to Colombo. Modi said uh, India stands ready to help, ready to develop a petroleum hub in the country as well and announced uh, a fresh lineup of credit uh, up to the tune of 318 million US dollars for the railway sector in Sri Lanka. Earlier, Prime Minister Modi was uh, accorded a ceremonial welcome at the presidential secretariat in Colombo where he signed. Uh, where he had delegation level talks with the Lankan President Sri Sene. Prime Minister Modi also visited the Mahabodhi Society in Colombo where he offered prayers and interacted with Buddhist monks. Indian fishermen, uh, the issue of Indian fishermen uh, specifically figured prominently during discussions between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Sri Lankan President Sri Sene. In a joint uh, conference, Prime Minister Modi said that uh, the fishermen's issue will take some time to resolve as it has uh, both livelihood and humanitarian dimensions. He said that uh, Fishermen's Association of India and Sri Lanka should meet and reach a mutually beneficial decision to avoid further confrontations. He asserted that there is need to find a long-term solution to the issue as well.